Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Linda. Here on this channel, I share videos about sewing, pattern drafting, and everything fashion. On today's tutorial, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to draft this trendy top with a yoke. And this has been a highly requested video. If this seems like what you're interested in, you might take a pause and subscribe so we can proceed with the main video. So guys, I have my pattern paper on the work table and the first thing I did was to draw a starting line. From that starting line, I'm going to be taking my bust point measurement and then I'm going to be taking my under bust, still placing my tape from the starting line. I'm just going to be taking my waistline, which is 17 inches, and then the length of my top, which is 23 inches. So now the next thing I'll be doing is just to connect the lines horizontally. After that, I'm just going to be labeling my lines. This is going to be my bust point, my under bust, my waistline, and then my top length. And after that, next thing I'll be doing is to take half of my shoulder measurement, which is 8 inches. And from there, I'll be going downwards with 1 inch for the shoulder slope. And I'm just going to mark the line like this. And I'll just go ahead and connect it like this with my ruler. After I'm done connecting it, the next thing I did was to take my armhole measurement, which is 16 divided by 2, which is 8. So I am taking 7 instead for this because that was my preference. And then I'm just going to connect the line like this. After I was done drawing the lines for my armhole measurement, the next thing I did was to divide this part by 2. So I'm going to be getting the midpoint like you see me doing. And then from there, I'll be going inwards by half of an inch and I'm just going to connect this point and this point like this. Before doing that, I'm going to be getting my point here by dividing my bust circumference into 4. Quarter of my bust circumference is 9.5 and, and then I'm just going to mark that to complete the lines like this. So now I am done carving out my armhole measurement for the front and the next thing I did was to just go ahead and label this place as my chest line so that's going to be my chest line and now the next thing I'll be doing just to take half of my nipple to nipple measurement which is 7 divided by 2 gives 3.5 so I'm marking 3.5 on all the lines starting from the bust point down to the top length and I'm just going to go ahead and connect the lines So guys, now that I have my nipple to nipple measurement, I'll be going down where it's at this point from the under bust by one inch and then from there I'll be creating my dart intake. So I'll be taking half of an inch around the under bust like this and then I'll be taking one inch around the outer part. So I'll just go ahead and repeat the same thing on all the lines from the bust point down to the top length. And then after that, the next thing I'll be doing is just to go ahead and use my ruler to rule the lines, connecting the dots. After drawing out the straight lines, I'll be using my curve ruler to create a curve around this part to the 1 inch mark I made initially and then I'll be repeating the same thing on the opposite part. Please avoid making this part so curvy to avoid your curve looking so funny, okay? So now the next thing I'll be doing right now is just to mark the upper chest line for the yoke and the neckline design. If you want your boobs to be covered or revealed, just go ahead and adjust the lines, okay? If you can go ahead and mark 6 inches from the shoulder line or you can just go ahead and mark 8 inches or even 7 inches like what I am doing so I'm just marking 7 inches for my chest line and now I'm just going to connect the lines respectively so guys this is going to be my yoke part okay so the next thing I'll be doing right now is just to come back at this point I'll be drawing my center line my nipple to nipple line up to the chest line like this to impute my dots at the chest line so I'll just go ahead and mark this line upwards like this and also the next thing i'll be doing is just to come back at this point i'll be imputing half inch here and then one inch to this part but i choose to make it 0.75 okay so i'm, I'm marking 0.75 inch there it's not up to one inch so i'll just go ahead and connect it with my curl ruler this is going to enable me to complete my bust here and also have a bust tightening effect around the chest line After I was done working around the bust, the next thing I did was to go in here by 3 inches for my neckline measurement. So I'll be marking 3 inches here for the width and then for the depth of the neckline I'll be marking 5 inches. So just go ahead and mark 5 inches here. You guys know the shape of the neckline is not that straight. Just as seen in the picture, the neckline is a V neckline and it's bent a little bit. So I'm just going to use my curve ruler to draw a slightly bent V neckline here just like this and then we have our neckline and just going to 
come around in the middle like this i'll be going upwards by five inches you can choose to use three inches four inches or even five inches and then heading to the center front i'll be coming in west by one inch and then i'll be measuring five inches from that point to give the shape of the neckline so i'll be measuring five inches like this and then i'm just going to mark it and then connect the lines into a triangle with my ruler so i have five inches on all these lines i am connecting on all the sides of the triangle i'll just go ahead and check if i have up to five inches on this part like this before completing the line so i'll just go ahead and connect it all through and now our neckline has taken shape and this is my yoke design and the next thing i'll be doing right now is just to come back and take the general body measurement to shape it so i'll be taking quarter of my ball circumference here plus my dart intake at this point which is almost one and a half and then i'll mark it at this point plus another one and a half inch stitching allowance to complete my measurements i'll just go ahead and extend all these lines because it wasn't enough so i'll be adding another another extra one and a half inches at this point for my stitching allowance and then i'll be doing the same thing around the bust points and then at the under bust area i'll be marking quarter of my under bust measurement which is 32 divided by 4 i'll be marking that here and then i'll be in imputing my dart intake which is two inches on this part so i'll be marking two inches and then i'll be marking the general one and a half inch for the stitching allowance and then heading to the waistline i'll be imputing my waistline measurements plus the dart of two inches and also one and a half inch general stitching allowance heading to my top length i'll be imputing the quarter of my hip circumference which is 10 inches and then i'll be marking two inches two inches plus the two inches general stitching allowance and then the next thing i'll be doing just to go ahead and draw these lines like this to connect the points So I'll go ahead and blend the sharp edges and then cut it out. And then our front piece is almost ready. Now the next thing I'll be doing just to go down at this point. I wanted to trim it off by half of an inch. I'm just going to connect it back into the main neckline. So this is how it's going to look like after I am done everything. And also I'll go ahead and trim it out so our front piece is coming together so there is one more step remaining to for me to complete my front piece i'm just going to include the basque waistline if you want you can leave it this way and give it a little bit basque okay without trimming off the sides but i'm going to be trimming off the sides because i like my tops with basque waistline so i'm just going to merge these two like this to attach another piece of paper to include my basque so i'll be using my masking tape to cello tape it together like this and by the way the paper i'm attaching is just two inches wide after i was done sticking the papers together i went ahead to mark two inches like this to complete my top i'll be marking a point there and the next thing i did was to come at this point at the waistline i'll be marking two inches and then i'll just go ahead and rule a bent line like this up to that two inches mark using my curved ruler After I was done connecting the curved line, I went ahead to cut it out and then separate this part like this. So now my front piece is ready. I'm just going to use this as a template to cut out the back. So guys, I drafted the basic bodies on a fresh pattern paper for the back. I've gone ahead to draft the chest line and this is the bust point line and then this is the waistline. So the back will be stopping only at the waistline. And then the next thing I did was to draft the armhole measurement for the back followed by the shoulder slope and then the next step is to draft the depth for the neckline. So I'm using 2 inches for that. I'm just going to connect it into the shoulder slope with my curve ruler. So guys, that is that. You can see that I included a zipper allowance for this and then I'm just going to draft a line like this. If you are drafting a corset with loops, just go ahead and connect it like this, okay, from the chest line. Just go ahead and mark. I'll just illustrate, I'll just illustrate it a little bit. So if you are drafting a corset with a loop, just go ahead and exclude the zipper allowance and then you're going to be coming in at this point by extra two inches, okay, around the dart area to create your loops but if you are drafting with a zipper just go ahead and mark half of your nipple to nipple measurement like this and then connect it with your ruler to form your darts 
Next, you need to be going inwards at this point on both sides by half of an inch for your dart leg. And I'm just going to extend the line from this point upwards by one inch for the back dart. You can use one and a half inch, you can use one inch. So just go ahead and connect it and then mark your darts. So guys, after I was done with the dart intake, the next thing I did was to come down at this part of the waistline. I'll be going inward by half of an inch. You can use 0.75. I'll be intersecting it into the zipper line. Just go ahead and connect it with your ruler, just like I am doing. After that, the next thing you do is to replace that half inch into the waistline. You'll be imputing the quarter of your waistline measurement. You'll be adding that back at the waistline here, okay? So now I'll just be taking quarter of my waistline, which is 7.5, and then I'll be marking it like this. So 7.5 plus half of an inch is going to make up for 8 inches, plus my dart intake of 1 inch, I'll be marking that as well. Then plus the general 1.5 stitching allowance at this point. So that is going to be for my back. So I'll go back to the chest line, I'll be marking quarter of my bust circumference, which is 9.5 inch like I have here, and then I'll be adding 2 inches, okay? There's no dart there, I'll be adding only stitching allowance of 1.5 inch there. So next thing I'll do is just to go ahead and connect it like this into the waistline. Next thing I did was to place my front piece like this on top of the waistline because I want to trace the sides for the basque. So I'll just go ahead and make sure I arrange it like this, this way. And this is what I have. The next thing I'll be doing, just make sure that the waistline of the front and the waistline on the back is the same thing. And then I'm just going to trace out this part only for the waistline to meet up with the back okay and that is going to be all for the back piece so i'll just go ahead and take away these patterns and connect the lines Next, I'll be going upwards at this part by half of an inch because I want to contour the back and then I'll be marking it into the waistline like this using a dotted line. Heading back to the zipper area, I'll make sure I have 2 inches here just like I have for the rest. So I'll just mark 2 inches here and then I'll connect the lines as well and then cut it out. So now I have my back piece and my front piece all ready. And for the front piece, this is going to be my center front and then this is going to be my side front. Also, this is going to be the yoke. And this is going to be the back piece. So guys, here are all my patterns all assembled in one place together. This is how it turned out to be. This is how beautiful it's looking like. And next is to cut it out on my fabric, okay? This is the fabric I'm using for this tutorial. And that will be my next video where I'll be adding 0.5 inches all around these patterns. Till we meet again in my next video. Bye.